hi good day this is my first video in this youtube channel and i created this youtube channel to teach you english in a simple way and in a different way so i think you will enjoy this and uh, my first lesson first video will be about shortened forms that are that we are using usually uh, in day to day day to day, li day, -to -day life so uh, i'm going to explain you 100 uh, shortened forms uh, within first and second videos and this video uh, will be contained 50 shortened forms in day to day life i think again and i am telling you again that you will enjoy this video and please subscribe my channel and like it and share it so let's start the video first Short form, short form I take is OPD. You use it always. OPD. What is what does what does that stand for? OPD stands for Outpatient Department. Singhalinga toth bahir rogiyanche. Outpatient Department tamai OPD ki na vachane dirg adhasavenne. Ita passe. Let's go to second. ICU. We we we. Hear this word, this shown form always these days because of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So, what does that stand for? Intensive care unit. Hadisi pratikare kake natnam dadi satkare kake. Intensive care unit. The number three I take is PCU. PCU means progressive care unit. Mulika Pratikar Ekake, Singhaling, Mulika Pratikar Ekake, PCU Kane, PCU stand for Progressive Care Unit. And did you ever think that the word hospital has a meaning? The word hospital has a long form. That means hospital is a shortened form. So, what does that stand for? Home of sick people, including treatment and labor. Home of sick people, including treatment and labor. What does that mean? Pratikara ha shramiya tulu rogi pudvilangi nivasne. Mekara tavat kihipyak tiyanwa terum namut mangat na metendi mang yodagatte ihelaman etang. Sudusumayai mama hitapu terum tavat terum bohoti bino me hospital kiyanwa chaneta. Let's go to the next. Have you heard of the word or the shortened form PCR? Yeah, I guess so. PCR is not a good thing. I am not sure. 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 What does the PCR stand for? Polymerase chain reaction. Polymerase chain reaction. What does PCR stand for? PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction. I am not sure. Polymerase dharma pratikriya. मैं संबंधिंग वैदि पहले के रीमा कराना ऐसा रूम मटर देनुमा में है मैं के साउंड के में आने चाहिए थी ना वह पाव चीवन वाचन या यह आधार से नमाय पॉलीमरेस चेन रिएक्शन नतनम पॉलीमरेस दाम प्रतिक्रिया की ना दाहसा राइट द नेक्स्ट शॉर्टन फॉर्म यू हैव हर्ड द शॉर्टन फॉर्म ईसीजी इलेक्ट्रोकार्डियोग्राम इट इ but uh, we use the short form as ECG. ECG stands for electrocardiogram. I have included two names of the countries. So the first one is USA. I think you have heard of it. USA stands for United States of America. United States of America, right. Next, UK. UK is also a country. We have heard that word before, I think. UK stands for United Kingdom, right. United Kingdom in Singhala, Exat Rajadhaniya. The next shortened forms are about organizations all over the world and in, in the Sri Lanka. So the first one, first one I took is UNO. UNO, UNO stands for United Nations Organization. 
United Nations Organization in Singhala ek sach jatinge sangvidhanaya man hitanne loke tibena vishalatama saha suprasiddhama sangvidhanaya thamai ek sach jatinge sangvidhanaya the biggest and the most popular organization in the world is UNO or United Nations Nations Organization and the next is WHO WHO this stands for World Health Organization World Health Organization in singhala loka saukhya sanvidhanaya man hitana me dawasana nitharama hena wachanayak WHO World Health Organization right next NASA we call it NASA but the letters that included in in the in the short form is N A S A we call it NASA the NASA stand for National Aeronautics and Space Administration National Aeronautics and Space Administration right in singhala jatika guwanha abhyavakasha paripalana aayatanaya jatika guwanha abhyavakasha paripalana aayatanaya right i'm going to the next short form unesco u n e s c o we call it unesco and unesco can stand for united nations educational scientific and cultural organization eksat jatinge adhyapana vidyatmaka ha sanskrutika sanvidhane right the next short form is unicef have you heard of it i guess so unicef o u n i c e f this stand for united nations international children's emergency fund united nations international children's emergency fund ek sach jatinge jatyantara lama hadisi aramudala me thama unicef kena ayatane unicef kena ketiya dumi arthe next imf our politicians are using this short form always imf international monetary fund international monetary fund singhaling jatyantara moolya aramudala when the football world cup is going to be started you will hear this word always fifa it's the world cup is called always fifa world cup what does it stand for fifa federation international the football association federation international the football association jatyantara paapandu sammelane kin adahasa when it come to comes to the cricket what is the main organization related to cricket icc and that stand for international cricket council jatyantara cricket council when it comes to standards a main organization for standards and it's called iso you have you have heard iso 9001 iso 9, 14001 like that so what does iso stand for international standard organization jatyantara pramiti ayatane international standard organization when you talk about standards what is the main institute or the organization in sri lanka you have seen the word you have heard the word sls sri lanka standards sls sri lanka pramiti ayatane we call it sri lanka standards and the short form is sls in this days everybody is talking about the hospital called idh the hospital called idh what does it stand for idh stands for uh, infectious disease hospital but the real name of that hospital is national institute of infectious diseases bona roga pilimada jatika aayatanaya next word is police have you ever think thought uh, thought that the word police has an has a meaning yeah it does have a meaning not one meaning but more so many meanings but i have taken two meanings for this video and the number one is public officers of law intelligence crime and emergency public officers of law intelligence crime and emergency neetiya buddhiyansha aparadha ha hadisi avastha rajya nilardarin right the second meaning is public officers for legal investigations and criminal emergencies public officers for legal investigations and criminal emergencies neeti me vimarsana ha aparadha hadisi avastha sandaha wana rajaye nilardarin short form is boi 
BOI. BOI stand for Board of Investment. Board of Investment. In singular, it is Ayojana Mandalaya. Right. When it comes to law, crimes and all other things, you have heard the word, the short form CID. CID. Criminal Investigation Department. Criminal Investigation Department. In Singhala, Aparada Parikshan Department. Right, let's go to the next. While you are watching Hollywood films, you have heard the short form FBI. What does it stand for? It stands for Federal Bureau of Investigation. Federal Bureau of Investigation. In Singhala, Federal Vimarsana Karanshir. Singhala, FBI can a Federal Vimarsana Karanshir. Within last five years, we have heard the word or the shortened forms of FCID. FCID. It was a newly established uh, institute in Sri Lanka, FCID. What does it stand for? Financial Crimes Investigation Department. FCID stands for Financial Crimes Investigation Department. It is in the Aparada Parikshan Department. Mulya Prada Parikshan Department of my FCID Kelapi Handunane. What is the biggest terrorist group in the world right now? Everybody knows it is ISIS. So, what does ISIS stand for? ISIS stand for Islamic State of Iran and Syria. Islamic State of Iran and Syria. Iran and Syria Pilibandu. Islamia. Rajek Nadas in the ISIS in Amadarin. If we call about terrorism, we can't forget our country because our country was under terrorism in the last um, 30 years, I guess. And that group's name is LTTE. LTTE. What does it stand for? LTTE stands for Liberation Tigers of Tamil Ilam. Liberation Tigers of Tamil Ilam. We use the word, the shortened form CTB. You know what CTB is, but what is the meaning of CTB? Right now we call it SLTB and earlier, the past, we called it CTB. CTB means, CTB stands for Ceylon Transport Board, but now it's called SLTB and the, Ceylon, the word Ceylon has changed into uh, Sri Lanka, so now it's called Sri Lanka Transport Board, earlier it was called Ceylon Transport Board, Singhalingatot, Lanka Gamana Gamana Mandali, Atam Sri Lanka Gamana Gamana Mandali. What does CEB stand for? Earlier we talk about CTB, now I'm talking about CEB, Ceylon Electricity Board, Ceylon Electricity Board, Sri Lanka Vidilbala Mandali. When it comes to computer side, you have heard the short form IBM. IBM. IBM stands for International Business Machines. International Business Machines. Singhaling ato jatya antar vyapari ki antar ki na adhasin tamai e adhasati yenne. International Business Machines. If we talk about mobile mobile phone brands, the one of the most popular one is Nokia. Did you ever think that it has meaning? Yeah, it does have a meaning. And the Nokia stands for Network of Known Internet Addicts. Network of Known Internet Addicts. I don't know whether that words are suitable, but yeah, that is the meaning. Danna Antarjala Ebhayu Wange Jalia. Handuna Pimem Gatot Handuna Antarjala Ebhayu Wange Jalia. I don't know how how fair it is of using the word addicts, but we are most of the people are addicted to uh, mobile phones right now. When you are talking about news, CNN is a very popular television channel in the world. CNN and it stands for Cable News Network. Cable News Network. In Singhala, we can cable. 
CNN Prodi Jalinathan Cable News Network. With CNN, another one comes to our mind. What is that? BBC. BBC stands for British Broadcasting Corporation. Britannia Guanili Sansta BBC kill again. Sri Lanka got cook. In Sri Lanka, the very first television channel is called ITN. Did you ever try to fi find the meaning of ITN? Independent Television Network. Independent Television Network. Or, oh, you know the meaning of that. Swadina Rupahini Seve. When you talk about banks, BOC is one of the most popular banks in Sri Lanka. BOC, Bank of Ceylon. We all know the meaning. Lanka Bank. Another bank, NSB. NSB means National Savings Bank. National Savings Bank. Or in Sinhala, Jati Ketar Krimi Bank. There is another bank called DFCC. DFCC. What does it stand for? DFCC stands for Development Finance Corporation of Ceylon. Development Finance Corporation of Ceylon. Nathan, Lanka Sangwardhan Mule Sanstava. When you talk about banks, we can't forget ATM. We use ATM every day. What does it stand for? Automated Teller Machines. Automated Teller Machines. Singhaling Swankriya Teller Yantra. Teller Kino Chenit Mama Sakra Singhal Vachana Kwaga Namu Singhal Vachana Khambu Nenehe. Swankriya Teller Yantra Kino Tavari Gannu Venne ATM Yantra 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 ATM Yantra Abhi Singhal Yantra Yantra When we talk about political side, there are so many shortened forms. The names of the parties, yes. First one I took is UNP. UNP, United National Party. You know the meaning, Exajati Paksha. Next is SLFP. SLFP, Sri Lanka Freedom Party. Sri Lanka Freedom Party. In singular, Sri Lanka Nidhas Paksha. UPFA. UPFA. United People's Freedom Alliance, United People's Freedom Alliance, Exat Janata Nidhas Sandhaniya. Next is JVP. There is something special about this word. Short form JVP has taken from the Sinhala meaning. Janata Vimukti Piramuna. The English word, English name for this party is People's Liberation Front. The short form has been taken from the Sinhala term of this party. When you talk about courier services, do you have heard of UPS? There is another UPS in computer side, but I am talking about the courier services. And UPS is one of the famous courier service in the world. It does mean United Parcel Service. United Parcel Service. Exat Parcel Seva. Exat Parcel Seva. And the other one of the favorite and one of the most uh, popular courier service is DHL. DHL means Dolce Hilbom Lin. I guess it is a name of someone or the founder of this service maybe. Dolce Hilbom Lin. That is, that is the words for DHL. When it comes to international books exhibition or some conferences we call we hear here the word BMICH. It is in Colombo. BMICH is a conference hall. And the BMICH stands for Bandarnayaka Memorial International Conference Hall. Bandarnayaka Memorial International Conference Hall. Bandarnayaka Anusmarna Jatantra Samantra Shalai. Now I am going to the computer site. What is CPU? If you use a computer, if you know about computer, you know what, what the CPU is. What does it mean? What does it stand for? CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. Central Processing Unit. And you could, we talk about websites. The names of websites are always started with www, three w's. And that is also a shortened form. World Wide Web. Loka Vyata Jale. World Wide Web in the WWW website. Most of the times, 
I think you have heard of the term USSD. USSD. Mang hita na USSD code deka kine ka. Oba bohu avastha valdi ahalat kina. What does it stand for? Unstructured Supplementary Service Data. USSD stand for Unstructured Supplementary Service Data. In singhala viewha gata nokala atireka seva datte. The last shortened form for today. UPS. Earlier we talked about UPS and it was a courier service. Now it is this UPS is using for computers or some other machines. UPS stand for uninterruptible power supply. Akanda balasapi human. Right. That's it for today. And I'm coming back to you with that my second video with another 50 shortened forms and I think you will enjoy that too and please do subscribe this channel do like this and do share so let's meet with my next lesson next video thank you very much